Carl Rogers did not mostly reflect words. He didn't mostly say back what the client said. He mostly said what he, Carl Rogers, felt that she felt. And he called that empathy. And when he said his empathy, he went more deeply than I had. And I think it's important because in the years since Carl Rogers, there's been a lot of talk about saying back, as if the point is to say the words back. And I'm quite sure that that's not what he did. He stated his own feeling of what the client felt. And uh, I just want to underline that what you were you were learning from the client's response uh, to what you said that it didn't uh, that the that Carl Rogers response did something carried it forward. Okay. Yes, that's right. And I, these days, when I respond with my empathy or with what I feel the client is meaning, I always invite the client to correct me. I say something like, uh, what more would you say or how would you put it differently or what do you say to that? Is that right? I always say, is that right? And typically the client says more. They don't just say yes. They say, well, more like this or more like that or a little more like this. And they correct me. And in the process of correcting me, I feel that the therapy is successful, that she's saying things that are fresh, that are new, that are correcting what I said and more than I said. Does that make sense? Absolutely, because then they have to go inside to see what more. Yes, that's right. And, and to see what's more is not words. The person-centered group knows everything that I have to say, but I feel that the person-centered group doesn't know that they know it. <laughs> they, don't, they don't have a language for implicit knowing, but they have implicit knowing and they know implicitly what you very well just said, that when the client corrects my response, they go somewhere to get that. That's yes, it. That's yes. So they, they know it implicitly, but they, you would like yeah, it exactly. to be even more... I would like them to know that they know it implicitly. I would like all of you to have a body because the implicit is the body. It's not words and it's not concepts. It's bodily. That they, when they know, when they go inside to see more how it's like, they are in the body. It's not only from the body that it comes from. And so I feel usually successful when I invite her to correct me, and she does correct me. She says, more like this or more like that. Where does she get that? It has to be from the body. But I would